Welcome everyone to my let's play of High Fleet. This game has no mission numbers, so the title names you see are just made up titles until I have finished the campaign. This game by default has no voice acting. It is tiring to voice act every line of voice to make this let's play interesting and to minimize reading for the viewer. I will use various voices to narrate the lines of characters in this let's play. Captions will be enabled for every video published of this let's play. On my order, proceed to Kalhu at once, and meet with Prince Aleofiel. By Imperial Decree, you are to represent the crown, in talks with the prince. Wake up, Tarkan. The city of Ali is on the horizon. Our long journey is finally behind us. Everyone is eager to hear you give the order to land. So, the Admiral sent you to talk to me, Tarkin. I see. Please forgive my indiscretion, Grand Duke. I have never had the pleasure of meeting you before. Think nothing of it. I am sure the two heirs to all its oldest monarchies can find something to talk about. Liberation. We've been at war with the Gathering for over seven years, and I still have yet to recover my father's throne. And now His Imperial Majesty's Admirals mean to retake it in a single week. My people cannot match the strength of the Gathering Fleet. We have but a single corvette for each of their heavy cruisers. Aye, but even if, by the Almighty's mercy, the Admirals land their ships in Kiva, what do you imagine will happen next? You are honest, if nothing else. I will help you meet with the Tarkins of Jarrett. Perhaps some of them may become your allies in this war. The Tarkin of Cal who is a good friend of mine. If you can come to an understanding with him, I'm confident he will be a worthy ally. It's a shame we've had to meet in such troubled times, Duke. Indeed.
so, are we heading for Kalhu now? The prince has nothing left with which to fight the gathering. These talks are a mere formality. As for the admirals, they are eager to reach Northern Jarrett as soon as possible. But they'll have to take her first. The campaign has only just begun, Duke. I'm confident that you will have ample opportunity to prove yourself. We've got the fuel, but it'll be some time before our ships are done refueling. The ships are done refueling. We are ready to fly. Your orders? We have about 1700 tons of liquid methane on board. Enough for about 1600 kilometers of flight. Here, to the south of Jarrett, they have nothing but old corvettes commanded by local dukes. Uh, will surely fall. It is only a matter of time. I'm but an aide to his excellency. It isn't my place to question orders. If I may, Tarkhan. Our numbers are thin. Even if Dord and Skobolev join their squadrons, I fear it won't be enough to take cover. Why do you think, Duke?
Tarkan, sir, we have an opportunity to replenish missiles on our ships. I highly recommend we do so. This is the roster of all ships in your squadron, sir. Move down the screen to the ship's maintenance panel. Purchase a missile. Now install it on any free hard point on the ship. You can install more missiles on other ships in a similar fashion. Tarkan, sir, I've just reported our progress to the Admiral. He is satisfied. The capital is far away. Until we return. Admiral Lord is the one in command. He leads the squadron, and you, Duke, are a Tarkan in his squadron. Curses. Enemy air defense spotted. Focus on the enemy ships. We will capture the ground vehicles once the battle is over. And watch out for missiles.
What a stunning dogfight, Duke. No, I was not. The Tarkane is expecting you, Duke. Truly, it is so. Peace be upon you, my lord. I am Imlan Harish, Doyen of Kalhu. You have my full attention. Speak your mind. Yes, quite right. A truly priceless gift. Well said, well said. This was a pleasant talk, Duke. I will join you gladly, Grand Duke. There aren't any Tarkhans around here, Duke. I've never heard of any. Tarkhan, sir. Some of our ships are in need of repair, and this city has a shipyard. We would do well to repair them here. This ship is in need of repair. All you need to do, is give the order to repair the ship. The engineering crew will do all they can. However, it will not be possible to complete the repairs, if we don't have necessary spare parts. Receiving a transmission from Dord. On my order, seize the city of Melka and await our forces there. It seems Dord is reluctant to assault Melka with the bulk of his forces. He's sending us ahead in case they have anti-air defenses ready. So, we are refueling and departing for Melka.
The watch reports a squadron approaching. Peter. Grand Duke. Well, you have my congratulations, gentlemen. The campaign has proven to be a great success so far. And I'm confident, Admiral, that we owe this success to the Duke's talents. How did your talks with Prince Fazil go? I hope you followed your orders to the letter. Good. Our next target is the city of Ur. We will join Scope LF's squadron there and begin our advance towards Northern Jarat. You've proven your mettle, Grand Duke. I will entrust you with the mission to seize Ur by force. The cruiser Diana and several intrepid class frigates will be transferred to your command. Good. I shall not detain you any longer, then. Peter Ignatievuk, Grand Duke. Tarkan, sir. We've interrupted a radio transmission. Pick up the phone. Quickly. Choose the band. Now turn the knob until you have the signal. Please hurry, Tarkan. If we take too long, they'll cut off the transmission before we find them. Great, we have the signal. Now we need to determine their bearing. Turn the antenna knob. Find the direction with the strongest signal. If you're sure this is the right direction, press the button to save your calculations. It's a transmission from the enemy strike group, and it's uncoded. Now we know their bearing and destination. Where are they going? Excellent. We'll outmaneuver them. Now, Duke, take the ships and go to UR, by way of Cushion.
We need to make sure the enemy strike group never learns of our movements. To keep our location safe, we must destroy the garrison in Cushion before they can sound the alarm. Our cruiser is too slow. It is unsuitable for a surprise attack. We need to form a group of our fast ships and use them to attack the enemy. Here you can see the chance that a sudden strike will succeed with the current group. Choose the fastest ships in your squadron. This ship is too slow. It's unlikely to be able to ambush the enemy. Select a different ship instead. Choose the fastest ships in your squadron. Add more ships to the strike group. Excellent. The group is ready. Now send it to Cushion. Once the group has completed its mission, order it to rejoin the squadron. We just got off the line with a squadron. Not much. The situation's still grim the rebels are firmly entrenched in Cadim Ridge. It'll be a long while before we can drive them out. Everyone's talking. 
You should probably ask the Admiral about that, Grand Duke. No one knows what might be waiting for us, Duke. Should the going get tough, I ask. I ask that you request reinforcement from the Admiral. I'm glad to hear that, Duke. Should you require reinforcement, just use the internal comms to contact the Admiral. So, I see you require assistance, Duke. Very well. I shall transfer more ships to your squadron. Yes, Duke. War is an expensive undertaking, is it not my Duke?
Congratulations, Duke. What a glorious victory. Well done, Mark. Now all the naysayers will have no choice but to shut their mouths. I swear, even Dord will rejoice in today's success. Shall I report to the Admiral? By order of high command, remain in her and await further instructions. I have been ordered to return to our point of origin. No explanation provided. Gentlemen, I have assembled you here to discuss our future activities in light of the most recent events. My opinion is this. We must press on and continue our advance towards Kiva. Pyotr Ignatievich. The news from the capital has rendered this entire operation newt. We must return to the motherland at once the sooner, the better. On the contrary, taking Kiva is more important than ever. If you would allow me to elucidate. I've had several lengthy conversations with the crew of the Sevastopol. It pains me to say this, but I'm convinced that the war in the south is lost. Returning to the motherland will spell certain doom for us. Then what do you propose, Pyotr? The rebel fleet is currently engaged in heavy combat in the south. Now is the time to mount an offensive in the north and take Kiva by force. And what comes next? We'll just delay the inevitable. Sooner or later they will come to take Kiva. I have reason to believe that our intel on the reactor is accurate. If we can seize it, they won't fight back. They will come to the bargaining table to ensure that the reactor is intact. Perhaps we might be able to strike a deal. We have to send a vessel to re-establish communications with the capital. Once we have a reliable line to the south. There's no time for that, Sheriff Ramatovic. If we do not mount an assault on Kiba here and now, it will be too late. He stood up and spoke with confidence. No one yet knows what has befallen the Emperor he said. So the Grand Duke, the sole legitimate heir of the dynasty, must lead what remains of the Romani fleet in this offensive. Admiral Dud balked at the idea, but his furious cries of protest were ignored. The officers eagerly supported the general's suggestion. The thought of the heir to the throne leading the charge himself did wonders for their morale. Grand Duke, you must choose the ships that will join us for the Kiva Offensive.
Grand Duke. Allow me to speak with you. I know you hope the Tarkhans of Jerat will support you against Kava. The infamous Omar Khan has found refuge to the northwest of Ur. I believe he can be a loyal ally to you. If you meet him, I kindly ask you to give him this. Would you like me to brief you on the operation, Grand Duke? Very well. Our objective is to capture the Kiva reactor. The city of Kiva is in the northern reaches of Jarrett. It is protected by the governor's own squadron. We need to force them out of the city. It is imperative that the reactor remain completely intact, which means that nuclear strikes against Kiva are not an option. However, we will face far worse threats to the success of this operation before we even reach Kiva. According to our intel, there are five gathering strike groups equipped with nuclear weapons somewhere in Jarrett. I strongly suggest avoiding them at all costs. The strike groups move from city to city on average once a day. If the enemy spots us and has time to report it, strike groups will try to get close to us and fire missiles. So we need to steer clear of them and track their movements at all times. Information about the movement of strike groups can be obtained from radio interception. Or by capturing one of the Tropiskata communication stations. Due to Jarrett's vast size, the enemy has had to use these stations to send messages. Even one such station could supply us with priceless intel on the strike group's whereabouts. As well as the location of their aircraft carriers. And their missile carriers. All of which is of extreme importance, if we are to prevail in this operation. The aircraft carriers, for one, can deploy attack aircrafts from as far as 2000 kilometers away. We must always keep this in mind. And, lastly, there are also transport ships moving to and fro between the cities of Jarrett. They are hardly, if ever, escorted and could be easy pickings for us. A captured transport ship could be quickly ransomed for a sizable sum in any city, Duke, and we could really use some extra funds.
Grant you. We have contact. An airborne target. Our radar displays the target is a short thin line. The target is in the center of that line. The line grid on the radar screen is replicated on the map around our squadron. Use the pencil to mark the target's position on the map, based on where it is on the radar screen.